As we enter a new phase in the fight against the coronavirus with the new administration about to take over in just seven days, the vaccine rollout, that the vaccine rollout is front and center now. We gathered four former CDC directors for their expert analysis. What's gone right? What's gone wrong? What needs to change? Our national correspondent, Miguel Almaguer, spoke with him exclusively. Miguel, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. That open conversation was really fascinating. It was stunning and it was also somber. Collectively, those four former heads of the CDC have about 50 years of experience in run running the agency. They're open about the criticism against the CDC, admitting that the American public has lost some confidence in the agency right as vaccines are being rolled out. What are some of the biggest issues with the vaccine rollout? I worry when I hear announcements, well, let's just open the floodgates and anyone over 65 who wants the vaccine can get it. Well, there's not enough vaccine to meet all that demand. And some of the groups that are the most challenging to reach, rural populations, frontline workers who aren't in the healthcare system, uh, I worry that they would be left out. Our public health system is operating on less than a shoestring. And when people wonder why is it taking so long to set up vaccine clinics or get vaccine out to people, it's because our public health system doesn't have people. From day one of this outbreak, um, the lack of organization and management from the central government, from the Trump administration, has been shocking. And this bumpy rollout is another example of that. Dr. Copeland, we've been hearing about these new variants, um, the UK strain, a strain from Africa, and we hear words like highly contagious what should the American public know when they hear about these new variants? Uh, what is being identified is an easier spread of the disease. The vaccines that we have, there's no reason to think and there's no evidence that they are less effective against those vaccines. Something that transmits easier uh, means that we have to be so much better than we currently are at following the recommendations of CDC, following the recommendations of public health. Uh, and we need our political leaders to hammer that message because if, if people feel that vaccines are gonna turn the tide this winter, uh, they are sorely uh, mistaken. And, and we will lose, you know, we could lose hundreds of millions of lives. Vaccination may substantially reduce the death rate in nursing homes and among the elderly in the next few months. But vaccination is not going to end this pandemic for most of 2021, even in a best case scenario. We're looking at the fall or beyond. And remember, uh, the vaccines have not yet been studied in children under the age of 16. So this is not in any uh, near term going to be a childhood vaccination. Is this the first of, of what will be more scenarios like this that play out in public health? Well, I hate well, to sound like a, like a negative person, but <laughs> we live in a perfect storm for the emergence of new infectious diseases that spill over from the animal kingdom. There's nothing to say that the next virus that spills over wouldn't have a force of mortality that's significantly worse than what we're already dealing with. This is our time to fix the global early warning rapid response response system for infectious diseases because it's broken. And I fear that if we blow it this time, if we don't fix this in 2021, we may never fix it. The former directors were said they were concerned that politics was getting in the way of science. We reached out to the White House for comment on some of this discussion. Here's what they told us in a statement that we just released, relieved, uh, received a short time ago. The CDC occupies a critical seat on the White House Coronavirus Task Force and has worked closely with Operation Warp Speed to help vaccinate millions of Americans in record time. Its guidance to the American people undergoes review by the other experts on the task force to ensure that all the advice comes coming from the government is consistent and clear. Mm. Guys, back to you. All right. That's a National fascinating Miguel conversation. Miguel. Thank you, Miguel. Yeah. To and hear much from needed conversation. Four former CDC directors. That was yeah. Great. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.